I know you're all fed up of receiving gazillions of Black Friday and Cyber Monday emails, all saying, buy more stuff. And I know this because I'm fed up of them too. I think most of us were exhausted and suffering Black Friday fatigue before it even began. So instead of buying more stuff that you want but don't necessarily need, I want you to learn more stuff rather than buy more stuff. So today, I want to learn more about how a company called Giant addresses and treats the most prevalent yet manageable illnesses that comprise the vast majority of our primary care visits. For example, I'm talking about flu, earache and similar ailments that we all experience. Ultimately, Giant is helping save money, time and worry and making the healthcare experience more convenient and streamlined for both patients for both patients and practitioners. And as you know, technology's potential to transform healthcare is huge. And while there has been a lot of progress, it's still not there for people. It takes weeks to schedule a doctor's appointment, so usually people stick it out until those symptoms go away, only to end up needing urgent care further on down the line. And free online symptom checkers like WebMD aren't well suited for medical content either. People end up scanning for answers to their symptoms and coming away more scared than ever. And I think we've all done that at some point. So telemedicine has a lot of positives, but it's not always convenient for patients. Example, finding the time, place, willpower, etc. to get on a video call. Or indeed the easiest kind of business to scale. So the team at Giant set out to bring together the best of artificial intelligence and real medical practitioners to accurately diagnose common illnesses and share treatment plans all in minutes from a mobile app. But enough spoilers from me. Buckle up and hold on tight so I can beam your ears all the way to California so we can speak with Giant CEO Pascal Zuta who's going to share his story that spans e-commerce, gaming, healthcare and how Giant is actually transforming healthcare. So a massive warm welcome to the show, Pascal. Can you tell the listeners a little about who you are and what you do? Sure. So I'm Pascal. I'm a co-founder of Giant. And what we are building is we're building a new care service. And we do that by integrating artificial intelligence on one side and experienced doctors on the other. And we bring them together so that we have a highly accessible you know, surprisingly delightful way of informing you, giving you your diagnosis and giving you treatment as a patient. And we emphasize, emphasize empathy in the process. And so what I always say is we don't want to build a doctor, a tool that is just diagnostic. What we want to build is um, imagine you had a friend who happened to be a doctor that you can text with anytime. That's what we're doing. And I've had the idea for Giant actually for a long time. Happy to tell you more about that. Now, at Giant, you are on a mission to make primary care better, easier, and more affordable experience for everyone. And to make this a reality, we need patients, providers, and innovators to come together to reshape the whole healthcare industry. So can you tell me more about Giant and the mission that you're on there? Um, Absolutely. So our mission is, at the core, to help providers do more. And um, where we fit in is that we're building a new healthcare service that exists to to close that gap between Googling or WebMDing your symptoms and that time-consuming, um, very old process where you call your doctor between 9 and 12 a.m. and uh, then you have to wait for weeks but until you get your appointment. You travel to that clinic, you wait on that crinkly paper bed thing for who knows how long until somebody finally comes into to the room to actually help you. And that's what we want to shorten. And so what, what Giant is, is it's like texting with your doctor at any time. So we combine artificial intelligence on the one side and physicians on the other, um, and we help you get to your diagnosis and prescribe treatment, and we focus on the most common non-urgent illnesses. We've learned that um, if you look at telemedicine, for example, and that reflects very well what's happening out there, um, if you look at telemedicine, 95% of all interactions there result in 23 different um, diagnoses. So while medicine is such a complicated field, there is there is a, a long, long tail, but most of us are sick with the same things over and over and over again. <laughs> 